Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to set up Linux, Ubuntu, if I said that wrong, I'm sorry, and VirtualBox on your Mac OS X. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is open up VirtualBox. As you can see, I have it on this monitor. Um, you all see I have three um, different operating systems listed. I have Linux, which is just Ubuntu. I have Ubuntu Studio, and I have GOS. So let's make a new virtual machine. And I will drag this over here. So you'll see this window pops up, and you're, what you're going to want to do is press Next. Um, you're going to want to call it, probably what you're going to want to call it just Linux, but since I already have something called Linux, I'm going to call it Linux Ubuntu. And the OS type is Linux 2.6. Um, the next thing you're going to want to do is set up for a base memory size, and usually what I do is I just set it to half of what um, I'm allowed. So I'm going to set this to 1500 megabytes. And then what we're going to do is press next. Um, the next thing you're going to do is create a hard disk. So go ahead and press new. And this is what you're booting from. So press new. Um, it's going to say, it's going to bring up this welcome to the um, disk wizard. You're going to want to press next. Um, you're going to want to make sure you're doing dynamically expanding. Um, you can read what they're what you what they're doing about or you know what each one's about, but um, usually you're gonna want dynamically expanding. So um, go ahead and press next, and image file um, Linux Ubuntu or Ubuntu, however you want, however you want to say it. Um, your image size. Um, this is about how much. This is how much space you're going to be allowing your operating system, and usually you're gonna want about a minimum of ten, and so. If this is only if you're only doing one um, virtual machine <clears throat> on your computer, you can use half of your available hard drive space or whatever you want to do. But for this purpose, for this purpose, I'm just gonna go ahead and use 10. So I'm gonna use 10 gigabytes, 10.00 GB, and then I'm gonna go ahead and press next. You can also use this little slider here, slide back and forth, and it goes between four megabytes and two terabytes. So I'll go ahead and make it. 10.00 and go ahead and press next. Okay, we see we've got the dynamically expanding image. It just talks about the information here. And go ahead and press finish. Okay, go ahead and press next. And we'll see it's got base memory, 1500 megabytes, boot hard disk, and name, and the OS type. So go ahead and press finish. You'll see it pops up over here. Um, the next thing what you're going to want to do is go into settings and just take a look at well first what we're going to do is do video memory size and again I usually do about what's half so um, let's make about 65 it's a pretty good estimate um, here's your other settings um, not much really matters um, okay hard disks um, this is what hard disk we're using CD-ROM this is kind of important you want to make sure you check mount CD slash DVD drive, and what you're going to want to do is either have your either insert a live CD, or if you download a .iso image file from the Linux distribution website, um, you're going to want to go ahead and select this one, and then you're going to want to use this button to browse, and you'll see that these all have little exclamation points over here, or whatever you want to call them, alerts. And that's basically saying that I don't have the those files don't aren't in the same spot they used to be, um, which will matter after we've finished um, installing. Um, but for now, we're gonna go ahead and grab them. So I think most of mine are okay. Well, I'm, right, I'm gonna go ahead and grab them. So when you Ubuntu, and you see that I have Ubuntu 8.04 desktop selected. So I'm gonna go ahead and press open. And this is basically the one you're going to be downloading if you're downloading Ubuntu. And this is Hardy Heron um, Ubuntu 8. So then we're going to go ahead and press select. Um, floppy, uh, we can do mount floppy drive. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Audio, um, the audio, something to mention. Uh, I don't know if it's possible to get audio through virtual machines, but I have not been able to. So <clears throat> that's that. Uh, network, if you're on a Wi-Fi, it should do it automatically. Uh, I really don't know about, um, like, I don't know about if you're through cable or anything like that. So you're going to have to play around with that. Um, I don't 
zero ports, you can enable the port, uh, USB. Uh, I don't believe USB works either, but um, if you can get it to work, great. Uh, shared folders, and then remote display. So that's pretty much all we need for um, to make this run. Go ahead and press OK, and we're gonna put we're gonna click this button to start, and you'll see that. Well, you can't see it, but a new um, a new program will pop up called VirtualBox VM, and, and you should know what that is because you can download a VirtualBox. Uh, you're gonna want to go ahead and press English or whatever language you're in, and then what we're gonna want to do is do install Ubuntu. I'll uh, load it's loading the Linux kernel. It's working. It's loading. And you'll see that Ubuntu is now loading up. And what you can do is you can press Command F and that'll make it full screen. Um, now something I just need to mention is the fact that if you're in, if you're doing full screen, it may not change the resolution. It doesn't for me. Um, you can Google how to change the resolution. Um, there are several websites that will teach you how to do it. Uh, so that way you, you can match the resolution of your computer. But um, it doesn't show, it doesn't, it doesn't do it automatically for me. So um, Now what we're going to do is wait for you to load. And if you're this is your first time as a Linux user, um, you'll see some, it looks a lot different than um, most of the operating systems out there, uh, such as Mac and Windows. And it's loading. This is the, and this is the screen that you will see every time that you Ubuntu loads. Now it's going to be either booting up or we're going to install. Okay. And you'll see that the cursor is different. If you press command, your cursor will come back. Now we're inside, and that's the um, logo for Hardy Heron. Alright, so we're in the install window. Uh, you're going to go ahead and press forward or whatever language you're in. Um, you're going to want to set your time zone, which it's um, pretty sure it's already set for me at yep, 611. So we're going to go ahead and press forward again. Forward. Um, this is your keyboard layout. It should just adapt to whatever keyboard you're using. Um, I'm using the um, wireless Mac keyboard so see that I have my text here and we're going to go and press forward or use Dvorak or whatever um, keyboard you're using I use QWERTY USA of course now I'm just going to start up the partitioner which talks which basically is going to be um, putting disk on your hard drive and we've got 10.7 gigabytes so the virtual box hard disk and we're going to want to use guided use entire disk so go ahead and press forward. Okay, um, you're gonna put in your name, so I'll put Matt. Um, login name. That's my login name. Uh, for password, we'll go one two three four. One two three four. And you'll see it's got your name, your login, your password, and confirm password. Um, for name for computer, I'm going to call this, um, we'll call it test comp. So there's our name, name. And then we'll go forward when you're done with that. Uh, you'll see it's got your little, all of your information on there. Um, if everything is to your liking, then you're just going to want to go ahead and press install. Now installation does take some time, I will uh, admit that. But um, shouldn't take too long for me, and depending on 
when you download your .iso file. Um, there